title is Accuracy of Systemic Lupus International Collaborating Clinics Classification Criteria Applied to Juvenile Systemic Lupus Erythematosus Patients. This is a presentation from um, investigators in Argentina, and Dr. Katsitkas will be presenting. Y con esta falsa sacia, pues, no, con esto para adelante. ¿Esto es necesario o lo, bueno, sí? No. Thank you so much for the possibility to be here. Um, well, systemic lupus erythematosus is a prototype of autoimmune disease. And the first question for today is, is systemic lupus erythematosus the same disease in adult patients and juvenile patients? And the answer to this question is not. It is not equal disease. Let's go through the differences between children and adult patients with SLE. So we are going to talk about three points, nomenclature, clinical features, and classification criterion. What about nomenclature? Well, we know that in the literature there are different terms in order to talk about juvenile systemic, about to talk systemic lupus erythematosus in pediatric population. We can find juvenile, pediatric, and childhood. But recently, a publication in the Arthritis Care Research considered childhood systemic lupus erythematosus as the, as the most appropriate uh, term in order to mention this disease. And for, for what? Because uh, this term includes prepuberal and puberal patients. What about clinical features? Difference between children and adult patients with SLE were children present Children present more acute illness at onset, more frequent renal involvement, more frequent CNS involvement, higher mortality rates, and more damage as measured by a slick damage index. And the principal point for today is classification criterion. Everybody knows that the most widely used classification criteria for SLE were those developed by the American College of Rheumatology in 1982, revised in 1997. ACR criteria have not been completely evaluated in pediatric patients. There, are, there is only one publication, Farras et al., that describes the sensitivity and specificity in Brazilian children. Currently, a publication in the Arthritis and Roman teams shows the new slick SLE criteria for systemic lupus erythematosus. This criteria had been proposed and validated. So our objective was to assess sensitivity and specificity of revised and validate new slick SLE classification criteria in a cohort of juvenile systemic lupus erythematosus. This is a case control study. Cases were all patients with juvenile SLE follow up in a single tertiary center during the period 2002-2012. Controls were confusable, confusable disease like the following, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, juvenile dermatomyositis, autoimmune hepatitis, juvenile systemic sclerosis, and associated vasculitis, genus schonlein purpura. Slick criteria are 17 criteria, 11 clinical and 6 immunologic. Slick SLE classification require 4 criteria with at least 1 clinical criteria and 1 immunological criterion or lupus nephritis alone in the presence of ANA or anti-DNA antibodies. Accuracy in this work was expressed through sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative likelihood ratios. Here we, we built a table, a two by two table in order to assess the accuracy and in the cells we can see true positives, false positives, false negative and true negative. And here are the formulas that we get to obtain the accuracy in, in, in this criteria. 
Results. Cases were 107 patients and control 124 patients, age at onset, median 12 and 11. And then we can see the diagnosis category that we use as control in decreasing order. Here the slick clinical criterion, and which are acute cutaneous lupus, chronic cutaneous lupus, oral ulcers, non-scarring alopecia, synovitis, serositis, renal, neurologic, hemolytic anemia, leukopenia or lymphopenia, and thrombocytopenia. And the following columns show the frequency of cases and controls of each one. It is important to notice that acute cutaneous lupus shows 64%, synovitis 65%, and renal 55%. Here is a busy table that shows four columns that shows the overall accuracy, but the m most important thing and pay attention for this acute cutaneous lupus that shows sensitivity six, 64 percentage, specificity 100 percentage, and good likelihood ratios positive and negative. The same for renal. 55% sensitivity, 95% specificity, and good likelihood ratios, positive and negative. Again, but now with the slick immunological criteria, we can see ANA, anti-DNA, anti-SM, antiphospholipid antibody, low complement, and direct contents. And the following table, the following columns shows the frequency of each one. Notice that the frequency of ANA was 100%, anti-DNA 62%, low complement 87%. And here the table with the complete overall accuracy, but pay attention to this one, ANA, who shows 100% sensitivity, 62% specificity, and low complement, 87% sensitivity, and 98% specificity. Finally, we decided to look for the um, criteria ICR in our cohort, but not only ICR criteria, also as also also as leak criteria. So we can notice that the sensitivity and specificity, specificity was ACR criteria, 90, 94% and 96%, and by a slip, for a slick criteria, sensitivity 100% and specificity 96%. It is important to say that six patients were currently classified by a SLIC but not by ACR. Five patients met at least four SLIC criteria and one patient had nephritis and ANA. To conclude, the SLIC criteria show high sensitivity and specificity in juvenile systemic lupus erythematosus. The SLIC new criteria were more sensitive than the ACR criteria in a cohort of patients with juvenile systemic lupus erythematosus. Further other studies in larger population should be carried out to validate the present result. That's all. Thank you very much. Comments, questions? I have one question. I may have missed this, but in your controls, did you have any patients with primary Sjogren syndrome? No, no primary, no, no. Uh, I think that I think that is a, a good point because uh, the the new criteria split the more hematological criteria, and I think that it's a very good point to to include antiphospholipid primary syndrome. Okay. okay well, thank you very much.